Hi, I'm Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I, this is gonna be a really exciting video and it's hopefully gonna be like a, an overtime type of video, but um, yeah, let me just explain it a little bit. So, if you've been around my channel a little bit, you may have watched my embarrassing plant stories video. And if you haven't watched it, and you enjoy a good laugh, I would give it a watch. I, I would recommend it. But anyway, if you watched that video, you may remember a certain fiddle leaf fig named Gary that I sexually harassed. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so Gary, if you, if you did not watch that video, Gary was a plant at my uh, former place of employment. And when I started that job in 2018, I was not a plant lady. I thought they were cool. I did not have any plants. I didn't really know much about taking care of them. Um, so at this place, I was helping them move and they were kind of like getting new furniture and stuff and they had this big gorgeous fiddly fig and said okay Michaela you are gonna be in charge of caring for this plant so I was a little intimidated but I just went ahead and researched it and I was in charge of caring for Gary until I left that job which was in August of 2021 and I left to do this so by this I mean plant shop thing. So I really, I missed Gary. I periodically, like I kind of kept in touch with my coworkers and periodically would ask about Gary. And I think, was it last week? It was last week. Uh, one of my coworkers from there texted me and notified me that Gary had fallen into disrepair. He was a mere ghost of his former self. He lost most of his leaves and they wanted to know if if I wanted to save him I was welcome to come and get him so what we're doing today is we're going to pick up Gary and I'm going to save him hopefully and I am so excited uh, I'm a little nervous to go back uh, I don't know where anyone else is like this but if I work somewhere I never go back like I don't I just don't I feel it just seems awkward, but anything for Gary, anything for a plant really. So I'm going back, I'm going back to get Gary. So you guys are gonna get to meet him. Like I said, be warned, he is a mere ghost of his former self, but we're gonna fix that. And he's going to live a long and happy life in my greenhouse. Okay, so hopefully I'm able to get some footage. I don't really do much like car filming or leaving my house at all actually now that I think of it but we'll see what I can do we'll see how this turns out Okay, so I've got I've got Gary in the car. He's all nestled in. I've got him covered up with blankets and stuff so he doesn't roll around. And yeah, that was I was so nervous about that, but it was actually really good to see all of them and they were all so nice and I don't I guess I thought they would be mad at me, but I always think someone's mad at me and usually nobody's mad at me. So yeah, it was just like a bit of poetic justice and or like it was nice 
closure. Like it was really good to see all of them, but it was also like, this is what, like what I'm doing now is what I should be doing. And it just, I don't know, made me feel better about it maybe, but not in a bad way. I don't know, this is really getting off the rails as usual. But yeah, I've got Gary and it was really good to see everyone again. And it wasn't awkward. I thought it would be, but anyway, yeah. Okay, so here he is. Um, he's got, what, four, seven leaves? He was really dry, so I'm thinking, I know he needs to be repotted because I, I repotted him like, I think spring of 2020. So I'm gonna let him sit in here for a spell, drink that water, and I'm probably gonna repot him maybe next week. And yeah, I'll keep you posted on how he does. Okay, so I'm on my phone out here, but I'm seeing signs of some new leafage on Gary here. Look, it's been actually exactly one week since I brought him home. Okay, so we're out in the greenhouse today. Actually, I'm in the middle of filming several different videos. So if I say a lot of things that don't make sense, hopefully I'll cut them out. Anyway, so it has been about three weeks. Gary is looking really good. I see, I think the main issue was underwatering and lack of humidity. I know where he was, was close to an air vent and ficus really do not like that so if you're struggling with a fiddle leaf fig just try moving it away from like air vents return air a lot of drafts from like doors or windows or anything and see if that helps because in my experience that is something that will cause them to suddenly drop all their leaves so anyway he has gotten five new leaves in the last three weeks and yeah he's looking a lot better and I think he's ready for a repot. Let me see if I can show you his new leaves up top here. Okay, so I think he's ready for a repot. I'm gonna wear my gloves because I'm filming another video, so I'm trying not to get too disgusting, but you know how that goes when you're a plant person. Also, I got this apron and gloves at the Target dollar section. So, yeah, I just don't want to get my dress all disgusting. Oh, I should put the gloves on. Second. Oh gosh, I'm gonna just take them off. I'm gonna do this. Also, I'm really sorry about the construction noise. If you've watched any of my other videos in the past, I probably apologize for the same thing. I don't know how they still need to dig the same hole day after day after day, but there they are out there digging the same hole. A washer.
Okay, so here he is in his new pot. I'm gonna show you his new leaves. They really don't look too bad. This one did get a little bit tangled up, but like I said, I think it was really a humidity issue. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on how Gary does. I still haven't changed that. I have been telling myself that I would for several years now, but there's something about it that I like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, okay? Anyway, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Queen City Tropicals. And I will be keeping you updated on how Gary is doing and I am so happy to have that plant back in my collection. Or I guess it never was my plant, but it is now. But in a way, like Gary was kind of my first plant and he's kind of the plant that got me into plants. So now that I, now that he's like a part of my collection, I'm just very excited. I know he's not anything like crazy rare or anything, but there's something about a fiddle leaf fig, you know? So yeah, I'm really excited about that and I'll be keeping you guys updated on how he's doing. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.